Hello, everyone, it's Deedee Sparks here, and welcome to another Pierce Custom Minifigure video. Uh, sorry I'm a little bit late, uh, on making this video. I think I'm a day late, maybe two days late. Um, I've been working a lot more recently, and, uh, not that long ago, a few days ago, actually, I did realize I need a break from working, so, uh, in March, over my school spring break, I won't be working, so, you know, then I don't have school, and I don't have work. So then I got nothing to keep me away from making these videos, you know? Um, but anyways, we have another, like, Ghost Rider uh, custom today. This is Scarecrow. And now, I made a video on Scarecrow as a Spider-Man villain. It is referring to the same Scarecrow, but this Scarecrow, or this version, is from the, uh, I think, old PS2 ghost rider video game or something like scarecrow was a boss uh, that you had to fight and he was actually really big in the game and he looked kind of like this i would say maybe a better head to use would be uh the scarecrow head from the first ever uh lego batman video game scarecrow minifigure like the glow in the dark head um but if you look up a picture of this then you'll know what i'm talking about because there's a figure, an action figure Scarecrow from the Ghost Rider movie. Like, I don't know if he was supposed to make an appearance in the movie or not, but if he was, must have been in a deleted scene. Uh, because it doesn't exist in the movie. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this minifigure requires a lot of expensive parts, as far as I'm concerned. Because the legs are from the Lone Ranger, and then the torso is from... It's from... I think someone in the series 10 minifigure series, uh, it's like an outlaw or something. He's got these gun barrel straps around his chest or something. The arms are from CMF series 2 mummy. I believe it's CMF series 2. It's a mummy minifigure. Um, the hands are just black. And then the head is from the Lego Batman movie scarecrow. Because this was the only good scarecrow head I had. It has another face. So if you want to make him look maybe more menacing, you can. The hat with the hair combo is from, what's, is his name Butch Cassidy, uh, from the Lone Ranger as well. Um, an easy way to get that minifigure and then Lone Ranger's legs is either Bricklink or if you have the Silver Mine Lone Ranger set. Now the weapon here does not actually look like the one from the game, but I did my best to make one that, you know, looked strange but cool. Um, I took a six stud loan axle that is in like this tan color and then a brown clip at the end and wrapped I don't even know where I got this from it's like a brown spiderweb uh, rope piece and I wrapped it around uh, three times and then I attached this brown piece which has axle openings on all three ends and put that on the top and then wrapped it around there clipped on there and then put some like snowman arms in each side to look like little cleavers or whatever and then a 2x2 two two circular tile with one stud in the center on the other side, just to get a little bit more detail. But he basically swings the game, the thing around you. Like, in the boss, in the, in the game, he jumps up high, and then he tries to slam it on you. Um, and you have to destroy these pillars that he's standing on top of. But he, apparently, I watched gameplay of it, and he was, he looked like he was really tough to beat. Um, but in the end, Ghost Rider did kill him, because I believe, because he mentioned his father, so Ghost Rider straight up ended him. <laughs> he probably, I, I'm assuming he sent him back to hell, probably in the most brutal way possible. Um, but uh, I've actually had this built for, I think about two months now, but I've been just waiting till 2021 to show you guys, because I already had my 2020 schedule all planned out, but... If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, are there any other Ghost Rider villains that you would like to see me make? Because I've made a bunch of Spider-Man ones. I have a few more that I've made kind of in my own design. Um, but I'm running out, you know? They're and I'm working on the Suppress 6-3 at the moment. But after that, I won't make any more Suppress 6. But if there's any Ghost Rider villains you know that you'd like to see me make, like, oh, let me know. Give me ideas. Uh, hit the subscribe button, turn post notifications over every time I post a new video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.